if you start out your journey doing it because you want to take care of yourself, you want to better your health, you want to feed your body the right fuel in order for it to carry you through this world, then your results will reflect that and you will find it so much easier to lose weight in general because you'll be enjoying it and doing what you love. Hello everyone, welcome back to The Daily Cup of Tea. It is Thursday, I had quite a busy morning, still trying to edit this video. Going to see my best friend tonight, we're going to have a fire outside, I'm going to see her in her garden, we're going to go for a walk, and so I thought that I would have a little chat with you guys while I get ready. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is how to get started on your weight loss journey. I've done quite a few videos now about how I'm losing weight now, but I am well into my journey. So far I've lost, I think it's 66 pounds, around the 65 mark, depending on the day. So I thought that I would share my best tips on how to get started and the best way to kickstart your weight loss right from the beginning. And also if you're finding yourself in a bit of a plateau, these tips might be quite helpful for you as well. So I guess the first big tip, the most important thing when starting your weight loss journey is to have the right mindset. I know this might sound like a bit of a cop-out tip, but it genuinely is the number one thing you need when starting out your journey. As soon as your mindset is in the right place, everything else is so much easier. I have always been trying to lose weight, even when I was at school, it didn't work until something clicked in my brain and I knew why I was doing it, what I wanted from it. It just made it so much easier because it meant that my want to lose weight was more than my want to eat bad food and to keep on gaining weight. Sorry if the sun's dipping in and out. <laughs> downsides to being in the window but it should pass through. In order to get yourself in the right mindset I guess that you need to have a good relationship with whatever plan you're doing. So there are many 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 different weight loss programs that yeah will all make you lose weight like you will lose weight if you stick to any plan. Every plan works but it's about what you are going to enjoy because otherwise your mindset and that motivation is very quickly just going to disappear because you're not enjoying it and it's really important that you enjoy it in order to keep that mindset in the right place. If you kind of look at it like, oh I can't have anything, I'm never going to lose weight, I can't have my favourite things, I can't go out with friends. If you're really restricting yourself and it's not going to work, my advice would be to choose a plan that works around you and your life. So if a plan is going to mean that you're not going to be able to do the main things that you love, then don't do it. It's not worth it. And there will be a plan that does work around you. And, you know, some people have lost so much weight literally just from cutting out certain foods instead of, for example, eating a burger and chips maybe have like a chicken breast and a jacket potato. Those kinds of things are just, they make all the difference. So that's my second tip really, which kind of ties in with the first one because it ensures that your mindset is on the right track at all times. It's to choose a plan that works for you. Like I said, there are so many that work, so many. And I personally wouldn't advise doing a very restrictive diet if you're like me and you have a tendency to binge or if you love food, it's not gonna work. It needs to be a lifestyle choice. And I am taking that from Slimming World a little bit. Um, Slimming World did work for a long time for me. When I'd reached that four stone loss, Slimming World felt like a chore. I think that's why it wasn't working because it felt like I was having to miss out on loads of things, which is why I switched to calorie counting. You can have anything in moderation. Like in my Easter vlog, I still had a cream egg on Easter. I wouldn't have been able to do that on Slimming World. I would definitely recommend calorie counting, but obviously there's so many. Like I said, Slimming World really worked. My best friend's doing Slimming World and she's doing like absolutely amazing. If you're gonna do calorie counting, you do really need to be in the right frame of mind and you need to be quite controlled because it's very easy 
to buy a pack of biscuits and be like, oh, these are 80 calories per biscuit, and then end up eating the whole pack. I've definitely done that before. My next tip, before you start, and even if you have started, take pictures of yourself. Honestly, as hard as it might be to stand there and take a photo of yourself, please take before pictures because when you reach your goals and when you're loving your body, you will be so thankful that you have that to look back on. Put them side by side and actually notice the difference. And this is really helpful as well if you're reaching a point where the weight isn't going down on the scales but you can see a visible difference due to exercise. Have always been quite fond of taking pictures of myself, even when I was big, so I'm quite lucky that I just had them anyway. You don't even have to look at them. Put them in a folder, hide it in your desktop. One day you'll look back on them and you'll find it and be like, wow. I've found a few photos where I've been like, wow. Take your measurements, make sure you weigh yourself at the beginning as well. I know a lot of people who have just like started losing weight and didn't want to face the scale. I do understand that and obviously if it's going to really negatively impact you, then don't. If you can kind of just weigh yourself and be like, right, okay. And then don't weigh yourself for a couple of months, at least you'll know where you started right at the beginning. It's a really good way to track your progress and tracking progress is something that's going to keep you motivated. Like, it's the biggest thing that keeps me motivated is knowing that I was this at this time and now I'm this and this is working because sometimes it can really feel like you're not getting anywhere. Like, it's a long journey and knowing that you've gone from this to this really helps to know that it is working. Something is happening. My next tip is set yourself a target weight or a target dress size measurement, a big end goal. Where do you want to be? Because this will also tie in with your mindset. Like, why are you doing this? What are you wanting to achieve? If you're setting out there with no real end goal or no real destination, you're going to get lost. You know, if you start on a journey and you've got no destination, you're going to get lost along the way and you're going to slip up and keep going like this and back around and everything. So set yourself a goal, set yourself a target. My target has always been nine stone seven. And I don't know where that number comes from. And I know that it's not like a definitive number. Like I'm not going to be obsessed with being nine stone seven all the time. Because once I reach that kind of nine stone threshold, I'm then going to be focusing more on my fitness, my like body fat percentage, my water percentage and my bone mass and muscle mass and all of that. That's my goal in my head and it keeps me going. It keeps me going for that nine stone seven. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Okay, my next tip. This is more for like when you're starting like your first week or even if, like I said, you've fallen off track and you're trying to get back on track is to record a food diary. So sort of a following a plan, whatever it is, start a food diary in the first week so that if you lose weight in the first week and then you find at a later date that you're not losing weight or something's going wrong, you can look back and see what you ate in the first week and see what's maybe changed. Or if you don't lose weight in the first week, you can look back and see where you think you're going wrong. It's just a good way to kind of keep track on that first week because if this is completely new to you, it is going to be hard. You know, it's a big change. It's a big, big change. Food is a massive part of our lives and it's a big change to make to completely change your diet and your lifestyle. I'm really hoping to bring out some like designs of like food diaries, fitness diaries, a like find your purpose, like find your mindset kind of templates for you guys. So yeah, let me know if that's something that you would like me to do. I love designing things so I'd love to do that for you guys. My next tip when you're first starting out is to weigh yourself the same time, same day, once a week. I am guilty of weighing myself every day. I know for some people this is like a really unhealthy thing to do. Personally, I find it really motivating to know what I weigh in the morning. Like, if I weigh and lost weight, I'm like, oh yeah, come on then, let's keep going, like, let's stick with it. But if I weigh in the morning and I put on weight, I'm like, okay, I need to be good, I need to like, uh, get it and check. Weight fluctuates big time, especially if you're a woman and you have your period that will massively affect you and your weight as much as i weigh every day if you're somebody that's going to get obsessed with that and be really gutted if you put on weight well one day i wouldn't advise that so i'd advise weighing once a week at the same time and it will be roughly the right amount make sure to record your weights as well like write them down somewhere i recently made my progress chart which i showed you guys i was gutted that i hadn't recorded like every single weigh-in because it would have been so interesting to see where my weight's gone like Ugh. and then 
My final tip, make sure that what you're doing is an act of self-love and you're doing it for the right reasons. Make sure what you're doing, that you love it and that you're enjoying your journey because if you're not enjoying it, what's the point? You know, you gotta enjoy life. You're only here once. And if you spend your whole life restricting yourself in order to get that amazing body, first of all, you're gonna yo-yo because you're not enjoying it. And second of all, this journey is gonna take you through things. You are gonna learn so much about yourself. Hopefully learn to love yourself a little bit more. And if you start out your journey doing it because you want to take care of yourself, you want to better your health, you want to feed your body the right fuel in order for it to carry you through this world then your results will reflect that and you will find it so much easier to lose weight in general because you'll be enjoying it and doing what you love if you have a job and you hate your job and you don't want to be there how slowly does the time go and how hard does it seem to get out of bed and get up and do the day but then if you're really loving your job and you're enjoying it and you're doing what you love how easy is it to get out of bed go to work and do what you love like making these videos i love it and i enjoy it and i wouldn't do it for any other reason so yeah make sure that what you're doing you do it because you love it if you want to lose weight in two weeks and you want to lose a stone in two weeks yeah you could probably do that but you'll put it back on if you view this as a lifestyle and like the rest of your life you're going to enjoy it and commit yourself to eating better and fueling your body with the right foods you will find it so much easier and you'll enjoy it too which is just like that's the main thing right i hope these tips are really helpful to you guys um i haven't quite finished my makeup but i'm gonna go ahead and do that i've been chatting too much <laughs> if you have any tips for anyone starting out their journey please mention it in the comments below i always love hearing from you guys let's continue with el Borgo. i went down to the city with a suitcase in my hand looking for a better deal Trying to find myself a plan Roaming around the streets Filling up some useless time And if I'd seen her then and there I would have asked her to be mine Ooh, something to talk about Trouble on my mind I've roamed the streets a thousand times But a girl is hard to find 